guys, this is Chef from All Things Prepaid, and today I'll be showing you how to root and install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your LG Optimus F7. Uh, hey guys, I wanted to come back to this video real quick and mention something very important. Uh, you have to be running the latest uh, software update for the LG Optimus F7. To make sure that you are doing that, uh, hit the uh, menu button from your home screen, go to System Settings, go all the way down go to about phone and then go to software information and make sure this number and letters are exactly the same as yours as uh, your phone make sure it does not say uh, LG 870ZV4 that it has to say LG 870ZV5 if it says uh, ZV4 at the end, that means you're not running the latest update. And what you need to do is uh, go back, go to System Updates, and then go to uh, Update Firmware until you get it. Even if it says uh, there's no update available, trust me, there is one. Keep trying until you get it. But if your phone is uh, already on this version, and it says ZV5 at the end, you can go ahead and continue with the video. All right. Okay, so first of all, there's three links in the description. You want to go ahead and download those three uh, files uh, onto your phone right now. And when you download those three files, you'll get this in your downloads menu. Once you have these three files and they look like this, um, to make sure that you can go ahead and install the uh, APKs, you want to go to Settings. Um, security and make sure unknown sources are checked once that's checked uh, go back to your downloads and then first we were going to root the device so you want to click on root.apk and we're going to wait for the system to uh, scan the apk make sure it's not doesn't have any virus or anything this might come up this is normal once again you are rooting your phone so the uh, the uh, uh, phone might find it uh, a little sketchy about this app, but don't worry, it's all safe. We're only here to root your phone and uh, get you on your way. Okay, so uh, once you open that app and then once you install install it and open it, uh, you will see install super su that will be already checked. Then you want to tap on Gandalf Expert. Once that says success, super user and SU binary installed, you have to reboot your device. Click on OK. And then you're going, going to go ahead and uh, reboot. So you're going to power off and reboot. Alright guys, the phone has rebooted. And now we are going to go to your app jar. And you're going to look to find super SU. Dismiss that. You're going to look to find super SU. It's going to look like a superman. Uh, icon right there. Once you tap on it, uh, you're basically uh, rooted right now. And now we are going to go back to your downloads folder because now we got to go ahead and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So uh, click on this uh, LTE2 VU2 Recovery uh, .apk. And once you uh, install it and open it. Uh, you're going to hit recovery apply once you hit that the app should ask for uh, super user rights and you're gonna grant it so uh, anytime now here we go we're gonna hit grant and once that says success we're gonna go ahead and hit the reboot button your phone will reboot into what we call init recovery Once your phone is booted into init recovery, let me go ahead and pick this up. Uh, you want to navigate to, you're going to go ahead and use the uh, volume down and volume up button to uh, scroll up and down, and you're going to use your power button to select. So, we're going to go to install zip from SD card. We're going to press the power button to select, and we're going to uh, so select choose zip from SD card. So, we press the power button again and then we go down to download download 
and then now we go to PG if it will focus uh, no no there we go PG sim uh, C W M dot zip you're gonna select it you're gonna select install that again you're gonna scroll all the way down until it says yes you select it It'll look like it's installing and once that says uh, done now reboot you're gonna go ahead and go back you're gonna go to uh, advance or never mind you're just gonna go back and uh, reboot system in now and we're gonna wait for the phone to reboot if your phone rebooted good uh, that's good everything's looking good right now and uh, one last step once the phone is booted, you can go ahead and power it off and leave it off for right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off as soon as I can. Or you can do a battery pull, it doesn't matter. But my other hand is busy right now holding the camera. So... Okay, so the phone is powered off now. So, to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, we're going to do some hands-on work, and uh, we're going to be pressing a combination of buttons in order to uh, boot into that special screen. So, first of all, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, first hold down the uh, volume down button, and then you're going to, without letting go of the volume down button, you're going to go ahead and hold down the power button. So do that right now. Once you see the screen, keep holding it, keep holding it, keep holding it, and then you'll see this screen. If you haven't seen this screen and it's uh, going to the uh, Boost Mobile boot logo, then you've done something wrong. Try again. Uh, once you see the screen, you're going to go ahead and press the power button, and it will boot into. Uh, clockwork mod recovery and perfect this is what I want you to see this isn't right uh, sometimes it might take you a few attempts you might get this bug this is a bug where it just uh, doesn't boot into clockwork mod recovery and uh, it's gonna take you a few uh, times to get it right so I'm gonna do a battery pull if you got that screen Gonna do a pipe and battery pull. Then put the phone back on, and then we're gonna try again. It will eventually work. That's just one of the bugs of uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Don't worry, it won't screw up your phone. Just follow as I say, and you'll be fine. So we're back at the screen again. I'm gonna go ahead and press the power key. And it did it again. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, third attempt. Okay, finally, we made it. We are now in Clockwork Mod Base Recovery. Once you see those uh, texts at the top, CWM-Base Recovery V6.0.4.4, .4. you are now in Clockwork Mod Recovery. And as I, I will suggest that you go ahead and do a backup right now. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the backup uh, part. And yes, you do use the power button again. It's the same as the uh, last recovery screen that we were in. And then, if you have an SD card, uh, a micro SD card, you can go ahead and uh, 
um, backup to external SD card that's what I suggest you do get a micro SD card if you do not have one uh, put it in your phone and then you uh, select this option backup to external SD once you select that it will back up and you'll see a lot of stuff going on down here and it'll tell you what it, exactly what's backing up once it says it's done you can go ahead and uh, go all the way down to the bottom and select go back and then you can hit reboot once your phone's booted, you're good to go. You got a backup, and you can now mess around with anything you want to do. Um, this is Chef from All Things Prepaid, and I'll catch you guys later. Uh, hit the subscribe button up top uh, to see how to tether this phone and install custom rounds. So uh, once again, I'll see you guys later, and uh, hit the subscribe button up top. Peace.